stepping at the same time. That part of it is, yes, like I'm coming closer to his leg, like, my whole body's coming closer, but also I'm mitigating anything that he's going to do to defend this, right? If I'm in here, I bring my hips in, and now no matter how he defends, like I'm in a pretty athletic position here. My hips are in, I can move, I'm mobile. That if I reach first, and now he defends, my hips are out, I can snap down and grab my leg. I'm just not as athletic there. Um, so it's yes, I'm more effective offensively by stepping and reaching at the same time, but just as importantly, I'm making sure I'm always in good position, okay? I can always manage my own position. Okay? If I'm always in good position, it's really hard for them to do anything to me that could put me in any kind of danger, offensively or defensively. So if I maintain position throughout, I'm in a better position for anything that he tries to do to defend, to attack, whatever it may be. So, uh, so we're gonna change direction a little bit, okay? So we're still gonna stay in that same front headlock, but now I'm going into like kind of a true leg attack. We're going to get to a double here. Um, let's go. Let's start here, I guess. I'll probably show this a couple different angles, but uh, you can do a double leg here. Okay, so again, same exact setup. I'm here, I'm here, my friend headlock. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is pull his chin up. Okay, so I'm going to open my elbow a little bit, but I'm rotating his chin with me. Okay, even though I'm giving him that space because his chin is so rotated there, his spine is starting to get twisted. He's out of position. It's not going to be easy. Duck under or do anything here to attack me. Okay? Once I rotate this chin, I'm also going to do an outside step here. And I'm going to grab onto somewhere on his hamstring. Behind the knee is okay. Okay? Somewhere between, like, anywhere between his butt and his knee is good. Okay? So I rotate the chin, I outside step, I grab an angle. Okay? Now, he can't go anywhere. Okay? If he tries to circle away from me, I have him caught. He's stuck here. Okay? If he tries to duck under me here, I have his chin, I'm blocking. I uh, secure this position. Now, I'm going to rotate my elbow around his head and block him here. Okay? So now if he wants to try to circle away from me, one, I have him here. Two, if he tries to turn and face me, yep, I'm pushing him away here as well. He can't go anywhere. There's nowhere to run. Yep. So here, once I'm in the position, I'm going to drop my elbow straight down. Okay? I don't want to come back around here. Okay? I'm going to drop my elbow straight down, and now I'm going to step across double leg. That rotation around the head is so important. Okay, yeah, same setup. Okay, first thing I do, rotate the chin, outside step, secure. Okay, he's already stuck. I'm not lifting my elbow up and coming here. I'm not coming in front of his face and coming here. I'm rotating my form. My form is staying glued to the back of his neck the whole time. You guys see this motion here? Here? Here. So now I can push him away. Rotate his chin up, push him away. Okay, once this position is secure, Oh, this elbow is out straight down. My level changes at the same time. I step across, cut across, right to my double leg. Okay, same setup. Here, three things happen at once. Rotate his chin, I step, I secure. Okay, now I can rotate around his head. All the way to the back. Thank you. 